Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Automate with Piyush and this is Piyush Agarwal again back with a new video. So in this video what I am going to explain is how we can retry a queue item using our config file instead of the queue retry mechanism. So let me first clear the problem. In general the general knowledge is if you have a queue and there are certain queue items and if it fails what will happen? it will be marked as retried and a new queue item will be created in the queue which would be at the end so if one work there are five items and item number one fails it will be retried after all the below four items are progressed processed okay now what we want is the challenge is we should be able to retry this queue item in the same failure uh, straight like just like how we iterate using a data table and we retry it using the config variable in the same instance that's what we want so for this what we are going to do we are going to set the queue retry to false like basically on the orchestrator our queue won't be doing an auto retry so let me just show it if i click on edit here we have marked the auto retry option as unchecked so now if an item is failed by default the queues retry mechanism won't work okay now uh, let me just put in some data into the orchestrator queue so for that I am just adding these four values from the worksheet let's just save it so for this dispatcher just reading a workbook and adding the data table into the queue queue retry now in this video what I am going to show you how you can manipulate or basically enhance the default RE framework to so that it its queue items will be retried using the config retry mechanism same like that okay so let's start with it i will just open a new robotic enterprise framework let's name it queue retry using config create so there are very slight changes that you need to perform to do this uh, challenge and what it requires is just a good understanding of how the RE framework is actually built and just for your knowledge this question uh, would be you might face in many interviews as well like how to retry a queue item without actually following the queue retry mechanism what are the changes you need to do so just you can start doing the changes together with me so the first change begins with the set transaction status sample so I will just go to the framework folder and go to the set transaction status. Now over here we will jump to the system exception. Now in case it is a system exception then first we don't want it to use the queue retry. So we will set this assign to false. By default its function is check if the transaction item is a queue item if it is a queue item set it to true so that it would follow the queues retry mechanism but we are saying no we don't want the queue retry over here then this is the first change now let's go for the second one second is this effectivity so okay before this one maybe let's move to the robot retry so here we will come in the robot retry mechanism open this workflow now here the logic is if our config has some retry number mentioned in it we should check if its retry number has increased or not to the from the config file if not then it will check the queue retry now since we are marking the queue retry variable outside as false so it will always move to the retry number value so now our idea is that it depends on the config value and the retry variable the queue retry mechanism is removed what we need is we need this condition outside so i will just copy this instead of writing it again go back to set transaction status and put this condition over here or this so by default a queue retry will always be false okay so you can even remove this one because it isn't actually required 
but to maintain that to do minimal changes i don't want to remove the general structure of our framework we are just adding an or condition if our retry number is greater than the config retry that would mean that the all the retries for a particular transaction are complete and yet the item was not pro processed perfectly thus it will uh, mark that item as failed in the orchestrator next is io retry number so here its value we don't need this okay since uh, the retry what this one would have done it would have got the retry value from the orchestrator but we want it to be updated in the retry current transaction then uh, so this is one thing now we are done with the system exceptions the only changes we have done over here is q retry set to false change number one add an or condition over here i o retry number greater than convert to in 32 that is change number two change number three is our removing the assign activity from here okay which is for the uh, retry number value three changes we have done in the system exception now we will come out to the main now over here what we need to do <clears throat> i will go to the system exceptions these are the transitions which are which denote that from initial state where we want to tra traverse to which different state so here i am going to add another transition move to process transaction the condition would be q retry and its condition should be that the retry count that is your retry number should be greater than zero whenever your retry number is greater than zero that would mean that the bot is retrying a particular transaction as simple as that so here i will just add a log message and let's mark it as Okay, instead of info, you should I can put it as warning. Retrying with count retry number dot two string. Okay, and we need we want this to be moved upwards. Or uh, let's check. If the system exception is nothing, then it will go to your success. If your system exception is not nothing, which is in the initialization state, then definitely it should move to the end process state. And if your retry number is greater than zero, so your retry number should be come before the successful. So your kind of this scenario should be like this should come at the first. First system exception is not nothing. Then your retry number, and then your success. This should be your transition uh, pattern. So this is also done. Now I will just put this onto the most left so that it's a little bit easier or visual. Now let's go to initialization. So uh, before I go over there, so why I am doing this? So that when uh, whenever a new retry is going on, bot does not fetch a different queue item from the orchestrator. Because currently in the get transaction state, whenever it goes over there, it is going to just fetch the new queue item. Okay. So now I will go to initialization. So here we have got a condition. If the max consecutive system exceptions are greater than zero and they are also greater than the consecutive retries. So for this condition, like what is going to happen if you get like, for example, you have two consecutive system exceptions and uh, number, same as retries. So it is going to throw an error when we are retrying for one particular queue item itself, which shouldn't be the case. The what it should do, it should only increase the consecutive system exception value when it is for different transactions okay so for that let's do one thing we can go back to set transition status and uh, here we have got the 
IO consecutive system exception. Okay, so there are two possibilities that you can do either increase the consecutive system exception count in the config file or add an if condition over here that consecutive system exception should be incremented only if different queue items are being taken place that is your retry count value is zero so for the easy work what i will do i will just go to the data file config and just set the values on a very high level like two retries and five consecutive system exceptions so for that let's go to here max retry number should be two so that means it should retry the value at least two times and consecutive system exception should be five save it okay now let's test it so to test it i would need uh, something to be done in the process transaction to show you guys that something is really happening so let's go over here here i can add a message box or better i will just uh, add a throw activity and let's throw an exception new system exception error for transaction number and i will just fetch a transaction number from the outside hope you guys are able to understand please in case you face any issue you can rewind the video and check it again okay and so let's just put it to transaction number dot two string and we are good uh let's check okay so this should be like this let's save it go back to main import the argument and add the transaction number value now hopefully everything is set and we just need to test it so if we if i go to orchestrator and check how many q items we have so currently we have got four q items available with us let's just run the bot and while the bot is running guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button like share and comment on my videos and you can always reach out to me on my linkedin or on my email if you have got any specific queries or need support with something okay i am always available okay so finally the bot is in action so it's reading its value from the orchestrator oh okay i have not uh, set the queue name in the config file my mistake let me just put it there so let's go to project the folder go to data in the config so our queue name is it's a uh, queue space retry so i will go to settings and set it as queue retry okay. and just rerun the bot So 
now the bot is on transaction number one as you can see and here we are throwing an error currently our queue status for item would be new to in progress okay now if i just click on continue it will retry the same transaction so by default it should have been marked as retried onto the orchestrator and a new item should have generated but there would be no change over here it's exactly the same and if i come back let's see it will just move back here you can see consecutive system exception is at zero and here it is retrying with count number one and again back with uh, error for transaction number one okay so that is again it is retrying now its retry count would uh, go to two and it will mark it as failed in the orchestrator let's check i think it should retry once more because our retry count is set to two so it is again trying uh, it is again retrying so this is the final retry count now if we still see on the orchestrator it is still in in progress state and this time it will mark it as failed over there and no new queue item will be generated so two consecutive system exceptions transaction has ended and see if you see it has get the transaction item so it has passed the new item now this is for transaction number two and over here it is marked as failed and now it has restarted now if i want to process this one i can simply mark it as ignore right now click on continue and it will mark it as success in the orchestrator so it has successfully tried and went to the third transaction let's just grab it successful so that's all that guys i wanted to share like how you can enhance your re framework to retry the queue item based on the config file not following the general scenario of like retrying it at the later end there could be many uses of this see the business use case one that i can think of right now see what if after every exception you need to add some files or snapshots onto some sharepoint which would denote that why that error was populated but you also want to show that you have retried that like if your queue retry is set to auto retry it would be retried the later end how you can map it easy you won't be able to easily map it that th these files belongs to that that queue item and what it will be done like you will be storing all of them in a folder and at the end of all the transactions you will be pushing these files and in case the queue item is processed successfully later on then again you need to add an logic that to remove those files from that archive so instead of all these complex scenarios maybe you can go with this approach and answer your re framework and make your work easy okay hope you guys like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching guys see ya in the next video